10 questions. Are you ready? Everyone, you should take the job. Thinks. Everyone thinks you should take the job. Indefinite pronouns like everyone, someone, nobody are always singular, even when they refer to more than one. They require singular verbs. The news from home. Good. Wasn't. The news from home wasn't good. The word news ends in S, but is considered singular. It is an uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns don't have a plural form, and they require a singular verb. The rice, almost done. Is, the rice is almost done. Rice is also uncountable. The word doesn't have a plural form. Uncountable nouns are treated as third-person singular and call for singular verbs. Here, your test results. R. Here are your test results. The subject is test results, which is plural. Some of the boys to go home. Want. Some of the boys want to go home. Some refers to the boys, which is plural. If some referred to a singular or uncountable subject, the verb used would be singular. Some of the water has evaporated. Neither of the two flashlights, batteries. Has. Neither of the two flashlights has batteries. When neither or either are the subject of the sentence, we should use a singular verb. But informally, we could also use a plural verb when referring to more than one. Three times four divided by two, six. Is. Three times four divided by two is six. The result of a mathematical equation is expressed as singular. Neither the students nor the teacher. What happened? Knows. Neither the students nor the teacher knows what happened. When the subject includes either or or neither nor, make the verb agree with the subject closest to the verb. Since this can sound strange, it's a good idea to put the plural subject closest to the verb and use a plural verb. Neither the teacher nor the students know what happened. 
By the way, neither and either can also be pronounced neither and either. Both pronunciations are fine. The only liquid used in these recipes, oil. Is. The only liquid used in these recipes is oil. The subject is liquid, an uncountable noun. There. Two slices of bread in the toaster. Are. There are two slices of bread in the toaster. Bread is uncountable, but we can express a plural by saying pieces of or slices of. How did you do? Be sure to like and subscribe to the new channel, Web English, all in English.